Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Ace Attorney Spirit of Justice. We are here. There's a lot of butts on the screen. We're here with all the butts. And then I'm here with Miss Unimpressed herself. That's right. We went up to the Sanctum by ourselves to go investigate, thanks to Emma. But Rafa decided to help us. <clears throat> I'm putting help in quotation marks, by the way, in case you couldn't tell. Um, I'm really surprised that she wanted to help, but I more feel at this point that she's just trying to keep an eye on me because she doesn't trust me at all. <sighs> Maya has been arrested for apparently killing the high priest. I'm pressing X, but they said that we could go visit her now in the detention center. So that's what we're going to go do. So let's go do that. Now, did I talk to her about anything? Uh, be actually, before I move, let me just make sure. Did I say any Is there anything we can? Well, I guess we can do the same thing that we do with anybody that's with us on an investigation. I wonder what she'll say. That man we just met, he seemed quite suspicious to me. Oh, yes, we met a very weird man in the last one, too, who, I don't know, was eating lizards. And also did a karate kid pose to me. Don't tell me he is an acquaintance of yours. Not everyone who's suspicious is friends with a lawyer, or vice versa, you know. For example, I have many upstanding friends and acquaintances, like a chief prosecutor. <laughs> we do. He's also really hot. Well, as long as your friends are free from the taint of corruption. Don't be talking about my taint in public. I don't think I like that, madam. They are. And not everything is about good and evil. Yeah, it's not really like a black and white concept, is it? Are you going to speak with that woman? If you mean Maya, then yes. There's something I need to talk to her about. Something like a jailbreak. How exactly could we do that with you and a guard watching us like hawks? Oh, is she coming with? I guess she is. For some reason, I didn't think she would go to the detention center with me, but let's go, because maybe she will. Let's find out. I didn't think she'd want to go there. Oh, Maya. Oh, dear. This jail is interesting. It looks a lot different. Oh, dear me. She looks terribly sad. I don't like it. Nick, I knew you'd come. Maya, she sure looks tired. How are you holding up? It, it wasn't me, but no one will believe me. Oh. I have to admit, I'm still a bit in shock. Who'd have thought that you'd get caught up in something like this? And so far from home? But I'm gonna defend you, so hang in there. We can do this if we work together. All right, Maya, you know, like old times, really. Oh dear. This is all my fault. I mean, you came to Kurayin just to visit me. We hadn't even seen each other in ages and then this happened. I haven't seen her this down in ages either. Come on, remember who you're talking to. Besides, I thought you'd be used to being in the usual suspect by now. It is true that this has happened <laughs> a couple of times. <laughs> I guess you're right. And you save me each and every time. Yep. So just tell me everything you can and let's go from there. Barbed head, stop stalling and go straight to the matter of true import. We know she is the murderer, therefore it is time for her confession. You, your benevolence. What brings the royal priests to a place like this? I am watching over this lawyer to keep him from tampering with anything in this case. Now, out with it. Confess to your crime. Please, your benevolence, could you please take it down a notch or three? Huh. Maya, please tell me what you can. I know this must be difficult, but anything you can remember might help. Sure. Okay. She'll do it. She knows what to do, right? Okay, let's see. The incident. I didn't kill the high priest. I wouldn't even dream of it. I mean, he always treated me so well. Abbot in me was an important figure with a ton of duties, including training acolytes. He was really kind, even to a foreigner like me. He even invited me over to his house whenever I was between training sessions. How could I ever kill someone like that? He sounds like a really good person. I think I would have liked him. It was so much fun. I got to enjoy meals with his family and everything. 
and his wife was a master of Kuranese cuisine. I've never eaten better in my life. It's like they were her family and home away from home in this foreign land. They must have been a source of comfort, what with being here for training all alone. They sound like they're nice. Oh, geez, this must be doubly hard for her then. But, but what? I can't completely deny the charge either. Wait, Maya, what do you mean? Huh? As I suspected, the snake has shown her true colors at last. Your benevolence, please. I'm trying to figure out what really happened here. <sighs> so what do you mean you can't completely deny the charge? Well, during the purification rite, I suddenly got really, really sleepy. The next thing I knew, Abbot in me was, you know... You suddenly got sleepy? So then you didn't actually see the High Priest get murdered? No, I didn't, but... If I was possessed by some crazy spirit while I was asleep, then... Oh, this again, of course. What an excuse. How dare you pin your crime on another person's soul? No. <sighs> that has happened to her before. Huh. Be honest, what you call training is but an extended vacation in reality. And that training here is simply for prestige. No, it's not like that at all. Oh no, tell me about your training, Maya. I'm training to become the master of the Kurain channeling technique. Huh. A neophyte practitioner such as you becoming a channeling master? I think not. The spiritual power required is beyond the means of an outsider like you. Rafa seems to really hate fakers. But Maya does actually have the power to channel spirits. I should let Rafa know. Your benevolence, I wouldn't call Maya a neophyte because she can already channel- ah, Wait, 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 Nick! What? Um, can I talk to you for a second? Why is she whispering all of a sudden? I want to keep my spirit channeling ability a secret while I'm here, Nick. What? Why? I'll, um, I'll explain it later. Just keep it a secret for now, okay? If you say so. What's that all about? I don't know, will she get in trouble or something? What is all that whispering about over there? Oh, uh, it's nothing, really. I'll have to ask about this later when Princess Rafe is not around. Oh, I almost forgot, Nick. Yes? About Abbot Inmi's murder, there was something I noticed that I thought strange. Oh? What was it, darling? What you noticed, okay. So, what was it you noticed? Well, you probably won't believe me, but... Why don't you let me be the judge of that? Okay, so, you know that spring? The spring? You mean the pool in front of the Warbad statue? Yes, that. The water in there was dark red. Is... oh, so it was beforehand? And when I say dark red, I mean blood red. Oh, that. Yeah, I saw it too. You did? Yeah, the high priest's blood turned it red. What? No, 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 that's not what I mean. The spring was red before he was killed. What? Wait, so it was already red even before the high priest was killed? Yeah, I noticed it during the purification rite, just before I passed out. It's just like the ancient legend says. What ancient legend? Is it about bathing in the blood of, like, her enemies or something? The spring shall run red upon Lady Kira's return- Oh, right, that, of course. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. That's how it goes, anyway. Hold on. Yes, there is a legend about the inner sanctum that says just that. But the water runs red this time thanks to the murder. The police investigation confirmed it. Perhaps your eyes were deceived by the lantern light reflecting off of the water? I... I don't think that was it, though. An ancient legend, huh? I wonder if it's connected to the murder somehow. Interesting. 
On the day of the rite, the water in the spring was already stained red when Abbot and me and Maya arrived at the inner sanctum. What could that mean? Hmm. What's up, Maya? Um, Nick? Yes? So, uh... Actually, there's one more thing. What is it? What could it be? What's up with Maya? She keeps looking over at her benevolence like she's worried about what Rafa will think. I can imagine that she's in that that situation because it's kind of... She's probably worried about that, right? Alright, one more thing. There's... There's something I want to show you. There is? I found this at the inner sanctum after I came to. What is it? Oh, what's that? Is this a letter? It's in Kurenese. See that stamp on the far left at the end of the letter? Does it look familiar? Hey! That looks like the thing that comes up every time Nayuta tells us to shut up. Isn't that the same thing? Isn't that his thing right there? This red stamp here? That's the mark of Lady Kira. It is? Wait, am I thinking of the wrong thing? Oh, right. It looks just like the mark on her forehead. L Lady Kira, you said. Let me see that. Can you read that, darling? Why? This is... What? Uh, what does it say? Rafa, what does it say? Do not perform the right. I know what you're planning, Lady Kira. That sounds like a threat. Or a warning. Whoever's pretending to be Lady Kira was pressuring the High Priest to stop the right. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me, too. Nick, do you think... Wait, 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 wait. First, there's that ancient legend. The spring shall run red upon Lady Kira's return. Now, there's also Lady Kira's warning. Plus, with the Warbad dagger being eyed as the murder weapon... Don't tell me! That's why she has to be the real deal. It gives me chills just thinking about it. It can't be, though. It can't be that. I'd bet Lady Kira's spirit possessed the sacred robe or something. Can that really happen, though? Can that be a thing? Don't tell me. Do you actually believe that the real Lady Kira returned to kill the High Priest? Do you really, Maya? Don't be silly, Nick. Huh? Historical figures don't come back to life. I, I mean, give me a break. But you were saying only yesterday how it was more fun to believe that she's the real deal. Well, yeah, yesterday. I wish I could keep on entertaining that fantasy too. But the fact is we're dealing with a murder here. Thus, my days of dreaming have come to an end. Well, until she's out of this anyway. I think she said that before. <laughs> I'm going to keep it real from now on and you should too, Nick. I thought you said I was the boring one because I was keeping it real. Listen, there's nothing wrong with keeping it real. Sorry. I guess I've outgrown that stepladder argument we always have. I do miss those, though. I do. I think you mean ladder, Maya. Huh. Keeping it real. Tell me about that. So, what do you mean by keeping it real? Oh, um... So you know how someone's dressing up like Lady Kira and capturing rebels, right? Oh. You mean the rebel hunter Lady Kira in the papers? Yeah, that one. I think that's who probably sent the warning. What nonsense is this? You dare to suggest that Abbot and me was slain by Lady Kira? You, you, you nincompoop! Ah! Harsh words. The rebel hunter is sure to be a vigilante who loves this kingdom. And it is that patriotism that led them to cloak their identity in the guise of Lady Kira. Such as patriots would never slay the High Priest. I guess it's only natural for Princess Rafa to see it that way, but I can't let it go with that. Besides, why would such a vigilante want to stop the purification rite in the first place? I haven't figured that one out yet. I rest my case. Still, if this rebel hunter had a compelling enough reason... They might have killed the High Priest after he ignored their warning. You, you big dummy! You can't fool me! It was you who forged the warning letter. You are trying to shed your guilt onto our most sacred Lady Kira. 
Admit it! No! I'd never do such a thing! I would never do that. Now, now, your benevolence. Let's try to remain rational about this. Ugh. Maya, did you show that letter to the police? Um, no. I was afraid that it would anger everybody needlessly. So, I was waiting to show it to you, Nick. Judging by her benevolence's reaction, I'd say Maya was right to be worried. I think so, too. Who knows what they'd say? Probably cause a whole uproar. Wait, what are... There are a number of places on this letter where there are three holes in a row. I see that. Is that connecting something? Are these supposed to be some sort of a message, too? Not that we'll be finding out anytime soon, I suspect. Lady Kira's warning, it appears to be from Lady Kira to the High Priest. There are holes and rows of three all over it. Okay. I wonder what that's about. All right, accused. Wrap it up. I guess they have more questions for me. Yeah. At least I have a better idea of what we're up against now. Um, Nick, there's something I've been meaning to say. I... I don't need a lawyer this time. What are you talking about? It's just... You know they have that Defense Culpability Act here in Kurain, right? Well, if I'm found guilty, you'll be charged with abetting a criminal. Maya, thanks for thinking of me, but... Maya, I went... I, I fucking went to bat for a kid that I hardly knew and took that shit. You think I'm not gonna do that for you? Don't worry, Maya. We'll pull through this together somehow. We always have, haven't we? Yeah, but we're not in Kansas anymore, you know? Well, I don't think we ever were, but, you know, yes. True, but I've been through one trial here already, so I know what I'm getting myself into. We're going to win this one no matter what, because I believe in your innocence. Yeah, I know. We've always won because of your faith in me. That's right. So it's all aboard the Phoenix Freedom Express. Let's go. The Phoenix train is leaving. Thank you, Nick. Well, I'll see you later. Aw, I like to see her smiling as she goes. I'm so glad she's smiling a little. Unlike you. Bravado will not save you tomorrow, and by then it'll be too late to ask for mercy. We're going to beat this charge. You'll see. Huh. I don't care to understand every single word that was spoken. But I don't like the sound of that Phoenix Freedom Express one bit. Wait. Don't tell me you don't know what Freedom Express refers to. No, why would she? Of course I know. Did you not presume to know what I don't know? <laughs> she didn't know. <laughs> she doesn't like when she doesn't know either. I'm no closer to understanding why someone would want the high priest dead. But given the use of the Warbad dagger and the existence of the warning letter, I'd say the rebel hunter disguised as Lady Kira is the prime suspect. It might help if I knew a little more about this modern day Lady Kira. Where are we going to go to learn about that? I wonder if anyone has any info on them. Hmm. Maybe the first thing I should do is go someplace where the locals like to gather. Oh, okay. That makes sense. All right, girl, are you coming with me? Oh, jeez, okay. Well, let's see where we can go. Oh, the bazaar, of course. Let's start there. Seems like a good idea. This is where we first came into the place. Oh, look, little, little cow is still there. Look at him. So cute. I guess the bazaar is as good a place to start as any. Now, who should I... Hmm? Oh, what, what? What's happening here? You busy? Mm, I see. So that is what a Freedom Express is. Oh, you cheated. Consulting her pocket internet again, I see. How does the old lady know so much shit? <laughs> she just knows everything. Mr. Wright! That sounds like, is it Albie? Hey kiddo, how you doing? Is Miss Maya okay? Uh, I believe her, Mr. Wright. I know she didn't do it. Do you now, boy? <gasps> Pokoka! Your benevolence! You mustn't trust in lawyers, you... Mm -hmm. You're not the accused from the last trial. Oh, um... What's wrong, Albie? Your... Your 
your benevolence speaks with the um. You may speak in the vernacular, little monk. Now, what is your name? Yes, your benevolence. I'll be your guide. Your benevolence is your guide, but you know what I mean. It's spelled like guide. No, this I'll be your soul is only as clean or as filthy as the company you keep. I wish you'd stop insinuating that all lawyers are trash. Please forgive me, your benevolence, but Mr. Wright is a very trustworthy man. And I, I trust him as a lawyer. Oh, dear. Oh, I can't believe you said that. Isn't that going to get him in trouble? What's this? I'm sorry. Forgive my insolence. If a common boy such as he can place his trust in lawyers, it can only be because of my failure at the Hall of Justice the other day. Ooh. Did she just run off? Mr. Wright, her benevolence is sunken into the ground. She must really feel responsible for what happened in court that day. Did she just faint? What happened? Let's give her some breathing room for now. I'm sure she'll be back on her feet in no time. In the meantime, do you mind if I ask you some questions? What, did she just fall to the ground and we didn't even help her up or anything? Phoenix! That's not nice. She just fell over. We're like, she's fine. Give her some time. She's, all, she's fine. I'm always glad to help. All right, kiddo. You know everything, right? So surely he's got to know about this. The Rebel Hunter. Let's see what he's got. So what have you heard about the Rebel Hunter that was in the newspaper? Everyone's overjoyed at her appearance. They say she's the modern day Lady Kira. So they're treating this rebel hunter like a mysterious protector of the people, huh? People have been on edge recently. What with that jailbreak and stuff? I sure hope they catch that escaped prisoner soon. Escaped prisoner? Here we go. Didn't I not say before when we found out that there was a prison on top of the sanctum? I said, has anyone, has anyone escaped from there recently? Well, how about that? What a coincidence, hey? Yes, he was one of the vicious rebels that Lady Kira had captured. So, there's a hardened criminal on the loose? That is bad news. Yes, but the modern day Lady Kira is also super amazing. I mean, she takes down big scary rebels all by herself. Yeah, that's not exactly something just anyone can do. Someone that strong. Could have easily overpowered and killed the High Priest. Hmm, and what about that escaped prisoner, Alby? You know anything about that? Probably does, right? This kid knows everything. So, what's the escaped prisoner supposed to be like? They say he's a vicious fiend who serves as Dirk's right-hand man. Oh, Dirk Diggler. Well, I don't know what he looks like, but he sure as hell looks daddy from this picture, but we can't see his face. We'll have to see. Dirk? As in the leader of the rebel group? Yes, the escapee serves that dreadful master of the Defiant Dragons. They say that the prisoner's a former soldier, and that he wields a big scary knife. Rumor has it he's a cold-blooded killer to boot. Great. Can't wait to meet that person. He sounds like a really dangerous man. Well, he is, but the police still can't find him, even after an exhaustive search. Wait, I remember hearing about a prison. Yep, it's probably the same one, too. How many prisons could they have? There is a prison at the apex of this mountain. Prison? Way up there? Prison is at the top of the Inner Sanctum's mountain, right? How did he even break out? No one really knows. He supposedly did it without any tools to speak of, too. Some say he must have fallen to his death. Personally, I'd like to believe he did. Otherwise, something like that terrible incident might happen again. Terrible incident? What's that? I wonder what happened there. What was that about a terrible incident, Albi? It happened before I was even born, but Queen Amara, the previous queen, was assassinated. Whoa. And it was the rebel leader Dirk who did it. The previous queen was assassinated? That's kind of unsettling. Indeed. This is like feudal Japan shit. Oh, it was a terrible deed of a heinous sinner. I mean, to take the life of such a gentle queen? Only someone with a dark, defiled soul could have done that. They really take their queen seriously here, like god-worshipping level serious. It really would take someone pretty bold and blasphemous to assassinate one. 
Those defiant dragon rebels are not afraid to do anything to accomplish their goals. That's why, with that escaped prisoner on the loose, who knows who might be killed next? Oh, so, like, royalty especially might be in danger. So that's why the people of Kurain are so afraid of that escapee. And why they want the rebel hunter to take him out, along with the other rebels. It makes sense. So, is there anything else you can tell me about the rebel hunter, Lady Kira, Albie? Um, well, I was just thinking that there was something else, but... What was it? Oh, yeah! Here! What is it? It looks like an arrow. Shadow found it! Why, that's... The water bad arrow! Feeling better now, your benevolence? Did you get up all on your own? Sorry, I didn't help you. This is no time for feeling sorry for myself. I am the crown priestess of Kurain. Now, let me see that boy. Yes, your benevolence. Hmm. It looks very much like one of the legendary weapons the Lady Kira once used in battle. A three-pronged arrow? I could swear I've seen something resembling that arrowhead recently. Haven't we just? Where was it, though? Where did Shadow find it, Albie? Near Abbot Inmi's house. Near the victim's house, huh? Something tells me I'd better look into this. Warbad Arrow resembles the three-pronged arrows once used by Lady Kira discovered near the High Priest's home. Okay. Albie, can I ask you to take me to the High Priest's house? Yes, of course. Come to think of it, he was married, wasn't he? And his wife is the one who usually plays the part of Lady Kira in the purification rite. I should probably talk to her, too. All right. Uh, okay, so can we go there now? Yes. Ooh, great. I love seeing new places, too. That's like one of the best parts of the investigation. Well, well, well fine. I guess we already saw this part. We've been in here. I remember the television. <laughs> All right, here's the house. It's quite nice, actually. So this is where the high priest lived? Wait a minute. This is where they brought me when my back gave out. Yeah, it sure is. And the woman in front of that altar. She must be the high priest's wife. Poor lady. Oh, dear. Well, let's see if she'll say anything. Do you think she will? She might not. She's all in black as well. And it looks like she has maybe like a morning like outfit on. It's hard to tell. Well, I would assume that she would have one. Excuse me. Oh. Oh, dear. Yeah, that's a very uh, mourning thing to do. The portrait of the deceased, right? Yes. May I help you? Wait, what was her name? Beezlebub? I didn't even see it. Belzebub? What was her name? Okay, I need to bring that back. I was hoping to speak with the high priest's wife. Are you she? Please forgive the intrusion, Lady Believe. Oh, believe, like believe. Do you believe in love after love? Oh my, y your benevolence. You're right there, darling. Please, be at ease. What a terrible time this must be for you. I owe much to your husband. You have my deepest sympathies for your tragic loss. You honor me with your kind words. Look, dear. The royal priestess has come to visit us. Oh. Oh, dear. I mean, what are you gonna say? Can't really. Yes. Mm, what's that? Oh, of course. <laughs> she, she's talking with this funeral picture. Yeah. Yeah, she's probably not okay. Oh, dear. Oh, that's not great. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, okay. I mean, what can you say about it? Can't really make fun of that. My husband, too, is delighted that the royal priestess has graced us with her presence. You... You can speak with Abbot and me? No. I don't possess the power to speak with the dead. But I can feel his presence. What's that? No. I can wait till later, dear. Kinda just seems like she's... Yeah. Not so much feeling his presence, but pretending he is still there. <laughs> she's definitely speaking with him. So, your benevolence, what is it that brings you to my humble abode? 
this lawyer is investigating your husband's death. And I am watching him to ensure that he does not tamper with any of the evidence. I know this must be difficult, but could I ask you some questions? A good friend of mine has fallen under suspicion, you see. A friend of yours? So then you must be Maya's friend from the States, correct? That's right. I'm sorry, but I'm still grieving. Isn't that right, dear? Yes, I know. Oh no. Abbott and May and his wife were one of the closest and most loving couples in Kurain. If she is not ready to talk, I will not allow you to press her any further. I guess that makes sense. I really shouldn't do that. She did just lose the love of her life. It would be incredibly insensitive of me to force answers out of her right now. But I need to talk to her if I want to learn more about the High Priest. Plus, there's the Warbad Arrow that Albie found near the house. There's too much I need to find out for me to leave just yet. Um... Would it be okay if I stayed here for a little while? Barb's head! Have you not been listening to a word I said? Look, your benevolence, I'm sorry for her loss, but I'm running out of time. So what I will do is promise to leave if she doesn't change her mind. Please, let me talk to my husband about this. Yes. Mm, I know. No, don't. Not in front of the royal priestess. Now, if you would excuse me... What, what the heck were they even talking about? Oh, is she gone? Oh, she's gone. You have but poured salt on her wounds. This is precisely why you lawyers are so despised. I was just trying to help Maya's case. I didn't mean to hurt Miss Inmi. Could it be that you actually possess a conscience? Of course I do. But I'm also desperate for information. So, what do you plan to do now? Pass the time by looking around the room, I guess, and see if she changes her mind? Just see that you do not touch anything that you should not. Guess I should watch what I touch, then. Just in case Princess Rafa gets mad at me. I don't want her mad at me. I certainly don't. Alright, so in the next one, what I think we'll do is we'll start doing the investigation and look all around. See what we can find out, and maybe perhaps we can get her to come back and talk a little bit. I mean, I feel bad about that, but we certainly have to do it. We'll see what we can do. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am, and I will see you soon in the next episode. Toodaloo!